Hello, you beautiful YouTube people. My name is Gorgio, and welcome back to another video. So today I am here to show you my brand new add-on that I've been working on for the last few months, and that is the Biome Complex add-on. Now, this add-on adds seven brand new biomes, and yeah, I'm not gonna bore you with an intro. Let's just get straight into this video. So first on our list, the Jacaranda Grove. Now, everyone always does Cherry Blossom Forest, not this guy. Now, I wanted some sort of nice and bright biome, but not a Cherry Blossom Forest, since the idea feels a bit overused in my opinion. Enter the glorious Jacaranda trees. Now, we actually have a ton of these trees close to where I live, and if it's the right time of the year, they're full of these vibrant purple blossoms. Absolutely beautiful. I actually always thought that they were native to where I, I'm from, although they apparently come from South America, not South Africa, so that's a bit of a bummer. Nonetheless, there's still some pretty trees and make for even prettier forests. Out of nowhere, I also decided, hey, why not just add water? And so I proceeded to add water. I actually just reused some code from the water pools from my end expansion add-on, but I'm telling you. There was a bit of a problem though, thanks to the purple and blue water both being relatively dark, the whole biome felt a bit dull. Initially I wanted to add some sugarcane, but I was too lazy to make a system that would place the sugarcane next to the water, so I just used some, boo some bamboo, and honestly, I think the bamboo looks a lot better than sugarcane would have. So after that swampy biome, we have something that's the complete opposite, the sandy savanna. The main inspiration for this biome was the Kalahari Desert here in Southern Africa. There's nothing too special about this biome, although I am quite pleased with how it turned out, especially with the addition of the more yellowish dry grass and these azalea bushes. I don't know what it is, I just really like how this biome looks. Maybe it gives me some sort of hope that one day we'll see the savannah update. Rip baobab trees and ostriches. Oh yeah, and I also accidentally made it so that bunk can spawn here while working on a completely different biome. I ended up liking the touch of orange, so I just kept it. The next biome is once again a bit more fantasy orientated. The main inspiration were these tall eucalyptus trees that I see quite often when I'm driving on the highway. The actual landscape, however, isn't even remotely connected to reality. I actually messed up some values and ended up creating these really rough cliffs, but I ended up liking them and just rolled with it. Along with these cliffs, I also added a lot of waterfalls. Not only do they help you climb up these cliffs in survival, but they also help out with the whole atmosphere of this biome, along with some custom fog and red particles. I actually think, unlike with the other biomes, I prefer this one without any RTX. What do you think? Leave me a comment. And while you're down there, why not consider leaving a like and subscribing? It really helps out a lot. Now, believe it or not, we actually have another desert themed biome. What can I say? I just really like the deserts. This one is the Tripstone Canyons. Now, just before anyone tries to lecture me about how dripstones can only be found in caves and how it makes no sense for them to generate in canyons, let me remind you that this is a block game where you break stone and wood with your fists while fighting an interdimensional dragon. So a spiky canyon isn't that ridiculous. But yeah, generating the canyons for this biome was a bit of a pain since I basically needed to generate a waterless ocean and then have a way to generate dam walls dynamically in if this biome ever spawned next to the ocean so that it doesn't look completely dumb with a ton of water pouring in. Trust me, it's harder than you think and yeah, this biome actually uses two biomes for it to do what I want it to. So two for the price of one I guess. Also, if you watch Hermitcraft, this may look familiar since I got the inspiration for the block palette from Cupfan's Season 8 base. The non-canyon part felt a bit boring though, but I easily fixed that by making these huge cracks that spread all over the biome. Is it getting seam in here? That's probably due to our next biome, the hot springs. <laughs> oh, that's, that's just so cringy, why am I doing this to myself? Anyway, it's pretty much what it says on the tin. It's a biome filled with these colorful hot springs. 
Back to the theme of loosely basing the biomes on reality, this biome is based on the Yellowstone Hot Springs in case you haven't picked up on that already. There's not really that much to say about this biome, other than the fact that, like a lot of things, making these pools were a huge pain. But yeah, the next biome actually has a bit of a history to it. This biome is the Fractured Jungle. So this biome was actually the first custom biome that I added. Initially the inspiration for this biome was the stone forest from Madagascar. As you can see it does look quite interesting, but you also may have noticed that it looks nothing like the background clips that I'm showing for this part. That's because this whole idea was kinda scrapped, although the next biome uses something similar. I actually did manage to create a system that would generate these plates. Unfortunately, I forgot to make a backup for that, so I can't show you And this lonely screenshot is all that remains of the old biome. The Fracture Jungle did have some issues though. First of all, the biome only looked good when flying over it. When you were in on the ground or in survival, it looked pretty terrible. Then on top of that, navigating this biome in survival would have been an absolute nightmare since there are these giant stone walls every 5 blocks or so. For this, these reasons I ended up scrapping the idea and pretty much ended up making some sort of Mesa Jungle combo which does look quite cool. Now luckily all of that work on the jungle plate wasn't wasted since I actually used it as a base for our next biome, the Plated Desert. Unlike my other biomes, this one doesn't really have a story to it, just rocks and sand go brrrr. <laughs> The initial idea came to me while playing this game called Control, excellent game by the way. But yeah, basically in the Foundation DLC, there's this area absolutely covered in red sand with these huge black rocks everywhere. I really like the vibe I got from that, but unfortunately covering a whole vibe in red sand in Minecraft looked a bit weird since the sand is more of an orange. And so I ended up using normal sand instead. Now, like I mentioned at the start, the rocks are actually based on the jungle plates, although they went through quite a bit of change, until I had something that felt right. The most important thing was to create a sense of being trapped in like a maze kind of thing, without actually making it too difficult to navigate, as that would get annoying. But yeah, if you did end up enjoying this video, please consider subscribing and leaving a like, it really helps out the channel a lot and means a lot to me. But Thanks for watching guys and I will see all of you again in the future with a brand new video. Cheers!